Hello, class. Let's first review what we learned in lesson 1.1. On Monday, we learned all the text of lesson 1.1, which is a dialogue between Song Ma Li, a female student, Chen Da Dong, a male student, and uh, Liu Lao Shi, her teacher. Okay. And uh, so it begins when Song Ma Li sees Chen Da Dong, she said, Da Dong Ni Hao. It's like a hi, Da Dong. And uh, Chen Da Dong replied, Ma Li Ni Hao Ma. Means, Ma Li, how are you? Or oh, how are you, Ma Li? And uh, so Ma Li replied, most of you probably still remember that it means uh, I am very well. 我, that's me or I. 很 means very, 好 means good. 你呢? means how about you? How about yourself? And uh, Chen Dadun said, Yeah means also or too. So means uh, I'm also very well. Thank you. is thank you. And then at this time, they see their teacher and they say, Lao Shi Hao, that means uh, hi teacher. So Hao is a short on the phone for Ni Hao, means hi. So Lao Shi Ni Hao, Lao Shi Hao, hi teacher. And the teacher replied, Hong Xiu Meng Hao, hi students. And then the teacher asked, uh, asks uh, one student, uh, saying, 请问你叫什么名字? In our class, we learned that 请问 means uh, excuse me or please tell me or may I ask you. All right. Anyway, it's a polite way to start our question. 请问你叫什么名字? Jiao means to be called. Shangma means what? And the means means name. So Jiao Shangma means means uh, is called what name? Basic translated into English, it would be what is your name? Ni Jiao Shangma means what's your name? Excuse me, what's your name? Uh, could you please tell me your name? So that's Ching Wen. Okay. And uh, Song Mali replied, Song Ma Li. I'm called Song Ma Li. Or my name is Song Ma Li. The teacher asked a second question. Ta Jiao Shama means he is called what name? What is his name? So Mali said, Ta jiao Chen Da Dong. He is called Chen Da Dong. His name is Chen Da Dong. Okay. So at this time, the teacher said, Mali Da Dong Zai Jian. It's like, uh, Mali Da Dong goodbye. Zai Jian means good. Two characters are part. Se means again, and jian means to see. Again, see you. And in English, would be see you again, and therefore, goodbye. Okay? And the two students said, Lao shi zai jian. Teacher, goodbye. In English, you probably say, goodbye, teacher. There you go. That's a brief revision. And uh, the reason that I'm recording this revision 
um, part is because uh, quite a lot of people were not able to make to the class Monday. So I think it's a good thing for me to lead you to review this part. Or is the teaching recording was shared with you already. Now I'm going to read the entire thing. And then I will lead you to read one more time before we move down to the next lesson. Okay, I'm not going to highlight it. It's just, uh, I just put my cursor in front of the sentence I'm reading. Okay. Marie你好,我也很好,谢谢。老师好。同学们好。请问你叫什么名字? 玛丽大东再见，老师再见。Now please read after me. I'll read it, and I'll leave enough space for you to follow. And uh, probably you do not need to pause the video. Okay. 大东你好，玛丽你好吗？ 我很好，你呢？我也很好，谢谢。老师好，同学们好，请问你叫什么名字？我叫宋玛丽。他叫什么名字？他叫陈大东。玛丽大东，再见。老师，再见。Okay, so that is a revision of lesson one point one. Let's go down to lesson two, one point two. One point two is again. A short dialogue. Actually, all the lesson texts in this textbook are dialogues. So the second lesson is asking people's age and nationality, like where somebody is from. And I'm going to read the lesson text once, and then I'll explain it, and then I'll lead you to read. Mali. 你多大? 我十九岁 陈大东呢? 他二十岁 你是哪国人? 我是美国人 陈大东是不是美国人? 不是 他不是美国人，他是加拿大人. Okay, now here comes the important part. I'm going to take it apart. You know, we divide and conquer. All right. So, Mali, that's her girl's name. We already met her right here. That's Mali, Song Mali. And uh, if you ask people how old he or she is, you say. 多大? 大 literally means big or large, but also means old. 多 basically means how much, how. So 多大 means how old. 你多大 means you, how old. <laughs> Sounds interesting, right? Okay, 你多大, how old are you? All right. And likewise, I'm going to just, uh, for example, I'll give an example sentence right here. Um, 
Hmm. Uh, if you ask a question, 老师多大? 老师 means teacher. 多大 means how old. Then the perfect translation would be how old is the teacher? Okay. All right. So 多大 can be, you know, you just replace the subject and then it will be asking people. And uh, maybe in the future you would say, Baba Dota, how old is Baba? And Mama Dota, how old is Mom? Okay, so Dota should be learned right now. And then we already learned how to count from one to 100. And if you were in my class, Okay, or if you watch the, the teaching videos. Um, so, 十九 means 19. We learned 十 as, uh, I'm going to use this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, 十 means uh, 10, and 九 means 9. So, if you put 10 and 9 together, that would be 19. So, 十九. And you also learned the word wo means uh, I. That's what we learned in lesson 1.1. For example, Tato ni hao, Mali ni hao ma. So ni means you, and wo means I. Wo heng hao means I'm very well. Remember that? So we come down to this one. Wo means I. 十九,nineteen. You notice that Chinese language sometimes does not have the word B. We do not have the, we do not necessarily need to say the verb B. But uh, in the future, you will learn that uh, if you put a verb B, like M is R, it's perfectly fine, grammatically correct. Uh, that word is 是, 是 means is, okay, or M. You know, uh, Chinese language, Chinese verb B does not change its format. Um, in English, it's uh, M is R, for example, I am, you are, he, she is. In Chinese, it's 我是, 你是, 他是, 他是, 爸爸是, 妈妈是. We just use the word 是, we do not change its format. Okay, so if we need it, if we have to use it, if you want to use it, you can say 我是十九. And then there is a word, word right here. It's pronounced sui. Sui. Sui means uh, years old. Okay, so if I put sui right here, 我是十九岁, I am 19 years old. But since in Chinese daily conversation, a lot of people do not need the verb be, so we delete it to, uh, you know, uh, to make it easier or simpler for you. 我十九岁, I'm 19 years old. What if that person, the person says, 我二十一岁? Tell me. 我二十一岁。OK,二十一would be twenty-one。So二十一two ten one。That's twenty-one。That would be uh, somebody is twenty-one years old。二十一岁。OK,so this is explained. I'm going to delete this part. OK,and then. Do you still remember the word na? In a context like this, if you put a person's name, a pronoun, and put a na, would it be how about that person? For example, remember this third sentence? Hi, Mali, uh, You can just add a camera here. Mali, Mary, how are you? 我很好,你呢? I'm very well. How about you? Or yourself? So, same thing. 
Chen Dadong, you know that Liu Laoshi has just asked Song Song Mali's age, and Song Mali said that she is nineteen years old. Then the teacher said, "Chen Dadong, how old Chen Dadong?" Implied the meaning is, uh, "How old is Chen Dadong?" And uh, Song Mali said, "Ta er shi sui." So what is er shi? We were just talking about the twenty one. So er shi means a twenty. Ta er shi sui. He twenty years old. Okay. All right. So this is a part to ask the age. These four lines. The next four lines are talking about uh, people's nationality, or you know, where somebody is from. 你是哪国人? 人 means person. 国 means country. We go backward. 哪 means which or what. So, what country person are you? Or you are which country's person? You are what country's person? Basically, what means uh, what's your nationality or where are you from? What country are you from? What country are you from? But the Chinese way of asking is a little bit uh, interesting. 你是哪国人? Actually, this sentence pattern is not very frequently used in China, but uh, the textbook says so, and uh, quite a lot of people are starting using this pattern. So 你是哪国人? You are what country's person? And the Somali replied, 我是美国人. I am American person. So means I'm American. All right. So now you learn the word 美国. That's the first country name you're learning. You're learning. 美国人. 美国. Pronounce after me. 美国. 美国. Okay, so 我是美国人. I am American person. In the near future, you will learn, uh, for example, 英国, that's uh, Great Britain. And uh, you will learn 法国, that's uh, France, 法国. And uh, you will learn 德国, that's uh, Germany, 德国. And all you need to do is uh, put a zheng, that would be German's person, that's German. And the fa ren means a Francis person, that's French. And the ying guo ren, ying guo is a country name, and the ren is the person, but the citizen of that country, so ying guo ren. This will soon be learned um, in the future, but for the time being, we stay with uh, Mei Guo Ren on this line. Wo shi Mei Guo Ren. Okay. And then the next line is tricky. Chen Da Dong shi bu shi Mei Guo Ren. Let's say shi means is. M is R. Shi. Let's just uh, delete these two characters for the time being. Cheng Da Dong shi Mei Guo Ren. If we do not put a question mark here, we replace the question mark. Cheng Da Dong shi Mei Guo Ren means Cheng Da Dong is American. If we use a question mark, Cheng Da Dong shi Mei Guo Ren means Cheng Da Dong is American. Okay, now we put a Bu Shi there, so Bu. Actually, if you read it separately, that's Bu. Bu is a negating word, that means uh, not. So you learn the Shi is, is, M is R. So Bu Shi means not is, or not R. Okay, so Chen Da Dong, so it looks like this sentence is quite contradictive. Shi and Bu Shi means is and not is. So it's a typical Chinese sentence pattern. Shi Bu Shi means uh, is or 
not is. It's this kind of sentence pattern. It means uh, Chen Dadong is American or not American. And uh, a British way of saying it is uh, Chen Dadong is American, isn't uh, you know, Chen Dadong is American, isn't he? Or Chen Dadong is not American, is he? It's this kind of sentence, or uh, in a common daily conversation, you probably will say, Chen Dadun is American, isn't he? Or is Chen Dadun American or not? That's right. Is, is Chen Dadun American or not? So is, so, uh, just remember, shi bu shi, it's a symmetrical way. You have the bu right in the middle, and you have the same word repeated on either side, and it's a typical Chinese sentence pattern to learn in the future. Okay, and uh, for example, in the future, you will learn or saying dui bu dui. Uh, dui bu dui. Dui means correct, bu dui means not correct. Dui bu dui means is that correct or not correct? Okay, it's somewhat like the whether or not sentence pattern. Okay, so regardless, Chen Da Dong shi bu shi mei guo ren means Chen Da Dong is or is not American. Or in American English sentence pattern, probably you say. Is Chen Dadong American or not? So it's just the or is or not sentence pattern. Chen Dadong shi bu shi And the answer is bu shi, means not is. Means he is not American. So here is a, a, a more complete sentence. Ha bu shi mei guo ran. He is not American. Ha shi jia na da ren. He is Canada is another country name. That's Canada. Canada, Canada, Canada. Ren. He is a Canadian person. He is Canadian. All right. Now this is explained. I hope you can take notes and remember this. Usually, um, students when the when students take face to face class uh, classes. Uh, the take notes and uh, practice after the teacher several times. And then that sentence pattern will be learned and will be practiced and will be eventually internalized. Okay, now I'm going to read the uh, entire dialogue one more time before I lead you to read it twice. Okay, let me get some water. Mali ni do da. Wash you sui. Tenda dona ta arsh sui. Ni shina goran. Wash me goran. Tenda don shibush me goran. Bush ta bush me goran. Now read after me, please. Mali ni do da. Wash you sui. Chenda dona. Ta arsh sui. Ni shi na guo ren. Wash me guo ren. Chen Da Dong shi bu shi mei guo ren? Bu shi, ta bu shi mei guo ren. Ta shi jia na da ren. Okay, let's go back and do it one more time. Ma li ni duo da. Wo shi jiu sui. 
陈大东呢？他二十岁。你是哪国人？我是美国人。陈大东是不是美国人？不是。他不是美国人，他是加拿大人。All right, hope this helps you. Please, you know, write back to me, email me if you have questions, and if you're watching the video, and if you have questions, you can put your comments down there. Thank you very much. 再见。